Before we continue, let's make sure that we have our PHP server running, so that application is available in a browser. And also let's start with development server to serve CSS and JS files. So as you can see in the browser currently, we are serving frontend assets from the Vite server, which means that anytime we're going to make any changes in those files, we're going to see those updates automatically in the browser without having to reload the page manually. So let's try it out. I'm going to switch over to my app.css and change background color in here. And in the browser, as we can see, the background color was changed without me having to refresh the page. Another interesting thing about Vite Blade Directive is that it is going to include front-end assets from the build folder in case Vite Development Server will not be running. So it is going to automatically detect whether our Vite Server is running. Let's try it out. And now if we'll go back in the browser and refresh the page, we can see that we got this error which says that manifest.json file wasn't found. That means that we haven't yet built our assets and this build folder doesn't exist. So to generate build folder with compiled assets, we have to run npm run build in the project root. Let's do so right now. This command has generated three files. First one is manifest.json that will store meta information about our build. And two other files are actually our compiled CSS and JS bundles. So now in the browser there will be no errors because included files have been found inside build folder. And indeed, if we'll take a look inside public folder, we will see in here newly created folder build with all our build assets. And by the way, whenever we are using the directive and specifying paths to our files, it is going to take a look inside manifest.json in order to find compiled assets that correspond to included files. Inside this manifest.json we have an object of such structure where keys correspond to paths to files that we have included. And also we can see in here the compiled asset that corresponds to included file. So this is how VidBlade directive knows where to find compiled files. And in case we're going to modify some of these keys, in the browser we're gonna get an error saying that corresponding asset hasn't been found. So that means that these keys should actually match those paths that we are using inside VidBlade directive. And if these files properly match keys from the manifest.json files, everything will work fine. But of course we don't have to modify those paths, I'm just doing it in here for demonstration purposes. So now if I'm going to run with development server, the directive is going to recognize that we have the development server running and it is going to serve assets directly from the server. If we wish, we can also customize the folder where Vit is going to build our assets into. By default, the folder with the name build is used, but we can override it by specifying the second argument to this vid directive. For example, let's use dist. And this path is relative to the public folder. But it's not enough and we also have to modify one configuration inside vid.config.js. So to tell vid that we want to use our custom folder where it should build assets, we have to use option with the name build. Here we are specifying an object with the key out dir. And right here, we are specifying the new build folder. In here, we are specifying the path from the project root. So once again, let's switch over to the terminal and build up the project by running npm run build. And right away, we can see that Vit has placed build files in the new folder with the name dist. So inside public folder, now we're going to find two folders with build assets, the default one with the name build, and our new one with the name dist. Let's remove both of these folders. So now to tell git to ignore new folder with built assets, we have to specify the path to this folder in git ignore. So right here, instead of using public slash build, let's use public slash dist. And this way folder with built assets will not be committed to the git repository. 
Link to the source code of this lesson will be in the video description.